Yeah, it's supposed to be tomorrow. Yo, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back, yeah, Filipino dudes. Man, listen, I'm here yep. with General and Twink, and like, yo, we're going to do one, a meme review thing. Is kind of and you know what I mean? Like, okay. yo, we're just yeah, going to start from you, here because I don't meme, fucking you care. Give it to me. All right, legit. Oh. All right, let's get down to business. So, what's going on, fellas? Like, I see we got a meme up on the screen already. All right, I will. Uh, what? I will be starting recording in three. Two, one. I, I already started. Like, oh, you're such a pussy. Okay, okay. all right, all right, all right. Uh, what is going on, everyone? Uh, welcome to the uh, Promethean Tides. I am joined by Pinoid. What is going on, Pinoid? I, you know, man, listen, I'm, I'm just hanging out, you know, sitting here trying not to say the N-word. You know I mean? Now that you got it in my head, you know, like from the start. It is tough. <laughs> it is tough. I get it. Like, yo, you can't just tell me not to do things. Like, I don't think you understand how that works. <laughs> and uh, we are also joined uh, by. Uh, Don't the, introduce it. You're goddamn uh, you're treating it like a human. They, Why do you keep doing uh, this? It's going to keep coming back for okay, food. It's it a. It's it's a it's a. Uh, you could consider it to be a person. Uh, we got Twink. Let's go on Twink. I'm pretty good. Just had Canada Day. Okay. Look, no, no, now you gave it attention. Like, it's gonna keep um, talking. You keep giving it fucking attention. Like you're for fuck's sake. I know, I know, I know. It's rough, but how I I mean I can't just like have it hang out in the background, right? You gotta introduce the it. No. Um No I, You just uh, I don't even say a word. All right. You just right. <laughs> let it sit there, you know what I mean? And like yo, it'll say words yeah, sure. and then like you don't address it, right? You're not like yo, listen, it's it's like a child. It's supposed to be like not seen or heard. Okay. I I thought it was children are better seen, but not heard. Just not seen or heard. That's that's where we're. Yeah, listen. It's, it's a okay. Canadian child. It's better not seen or heard. All right, legit. Like How every you know? time they talk, I mean, like, you didn't lose the kid though. Listen, all right. It's like every time they talk, it's just putting and then ripping their royals' arms off. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. I thought that that maybe we could. Uh, we uh, I would just have a couple memes. It is uh, coming up on the fourth of July. This is uh, uh, MAGA month. I guess that um, uh, I don't know if it was like kind of like a, a weird leap year, but uh, Pride Month didn't go so well. It seems like it was cut short. It was it was cut very short. But I I feel a lot of strength in in MAGA month. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm very confident about that one. Um, of course, I want to. I want to say for all my deep internet people, mm -hmm. I apologize for having to hear the words "maga" come out of General's mouth. Maga month. It's maga month, bro. <laughs> like, um, yo, bro, have you? Month? I, have, I have a question for you, General. Right, like, yo, this, this okay, is a, this yeah. is a real question. All right, so like everybody in like my area, and, and I live in Appalachia, right? They all hate the government with a passion. But they all shoot off fireworks and celebrate the Fourth of July like it's like it's a real thing. W what? Why? Why are you celebrating a government that's trash? Okay, the reason is because there was a small group of people that were like uh, ten thousand times less people than we currently have that rebelled against the British government. And we all collectively uh, put our middle fingers up in the air and we said, "Fuck you, Britain." And it's worth celebrating because it's anti-central uh, government. And I like things that are anti-central government. And by the way, there were, uh, there were like 3 million people in the United States, so that would technically make it 100 times. Okay. But like, well, okay. I feel uh, where you are. 100 to whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Something um, about, yeah. I think the days have been shorter just because you're getting older. That's why. Well, when, when you, you're a kid... Did, uh, Remember wait a when, minute, um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. General, um, were we were we talking about the days being shorter? I, I don't think we, we said anything about the days being shorter. I, I don't remember anything shorter. about that. I think that Pride was shorter, he said. Pride, Pride? Well, Pride Month seemed to be very short. Twink. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know what happened to Pride Month. It was. Yeah. Twink has the IQ of like, um, uh, like a dead squirrel, right? That's like on cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think, honestly, I think that's mean. I think that uh, Twink has the IQ of a living squirrel. A squirrel that is alive, I will give that to Twink. And has Down syndrome, 
and a, a nerve disorder and it's inbred and on top but, of that like it's on cocaine okay if i was a squirrel i'd be the, the squirrel might be in a coma but its heart is still beating technically no. so that no is, no that's the iq i would give no. twink. I, I i disagree this no. is this is unfair to twink yeah i don't um, care like you think okay. I, I don't know why would i <laughs> listen okay like I think why would i has care a higher iq rate your vagina, I, yo, seriously, bro. Like, see, I almost addressed it. Like, goddamn, stop making me do this. <laughs> that's not a. Uh, that's not a pussy, bro. I. Uh, I do. It's a pussy. It's a pussy. I do. Uh, I do want to point out that uh, <laughs> uh, coming up to the to the Fourth of July, uh, we do have. I guess um, Trump, as president, uh, took documents into his home, which he has uh, the right to do so, as did. Obama, as did Bush, as did Clinton, as did the presidents before then, all the way going back to, I think, like, 1970, when this whole fucking classified document thing happened. Um, and yet, Joe Biden took president uh, took, took documents uh, into his, his garage with the Corvette when he was vice president, when he did not have the ability to do so, and we are going to uh, charge Donald Trump under the Espionage Act for doing something that appears to be completely legal, and we are not going to go after uh, Joe Biden for something that appears to be completely and utterly illegal, because I guess that that is uh, the point in America we where we find ourselves in, um, uh, justice is no longer uh, uh, blind. So when it, when, it when was justice blue. blind, dude? Like, yo, listen, here's the real bitch, all right? Is that, like, that OJ thing happened, right? And everybody was like, oh, men are letting a black man off. Like, no, they're letting a guy with money off, okay? Like, yo, if you have money and you're, like, pro-system, they're going to let you go. Right, that's how this works. Number one, number two, Joe Biden didn't just take him into like a garage with his Corvette. He left them at like Waffle Houses and like fucking IKEA stores, showing off to the neighbors. Hey, yeah, look at this like, document. Like he used, like we found one in like a back of an outhouse, right? As like fucking like you know, de like deferred reading and shit. Like, I feel I feel like this could be fake news, but... <laughs> Listen, Joe Biden, all right, 100% probably didn't, but, like, yo, he... Yo, he literally, like, left a whole bunch of these papers, like, just, like on the back of, like, telephone poles, on, the, on like, the, on the back side of it, there was, like, a picture of a cat that he drew, right, that said, if you find me, please call, right, like, real shit, and, like, yo, literally, like, yo, he handed in some of the documents as medical records when his dogs happen. went in into the vets after they got done biting the shit out of everybody I, and pooping on things. This is, this is, this is obviously satire. <laughs> Okay, but, <laughs> no, dude. but it's, no, dude. it's I, not too far off from the truth. Uh, to be fair, see, uh, my so memes are my memes are way better than everybody else's because I'm creative, right? Did Joe? Bro, have, yo, by the way, shut the fuck up, you goddamn fucking Canadian squirrel, right? Yo, bro, did you see the Washington Post YouTube shorts yet, General? I uh, did it. Did it come out today? I'm, I might not have seen it. Nah, bro. Listen, like yo, they have a whole channel for like literally like it's YouTube Shorts and TikToks. They found some millennial who was willing to take all of the money, right? And like they're they're promoting like the the the, the goddamn Biden administration. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, they're trying to let fucking like they're they're explaining why Hunter Biden should be let off from like a millennial like a Zoomer Are perspective. You sure? Are you sure that would be the the New York Post, not the New York Times? Because no, 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 it's the Washington the New York Post. Post is it's the Washington Post. Oh, the Washington Post. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, it's the Wapo. Like, bro, everybody, go check this out. Thumbs it down and leave a terrible comment. All right, like, yo, just just be a bunch of bots for me. You know what I mean? Like, yo, just go get it done because, like, I told you so. We need to mog this channel. All right, until it's ran off the fucking platform. We do not need the oligarchs to have their hands in our fucking pot. All right, legitimately, everyone. Everyone, go go watch those TikToks and give them a downvote. The the extra views will definitely hurt them. Listen, uh, no, no, no. Listen, you're gonna have to watch them, all right? And that's fine. Just I need you to leave bad comments and thumbs downs, right? And just mog them, okay? Legitimately, mog the fuck out. Let's let's create some memes and do what we do. Listen, this is war, fellas. All right, and war is hell. There's no listen. There's no Canadian squirrels in a foxhole. All right, legitimately, like that's that's a fucking real saying. I just made it up. Uh, I I support I support me more fair. It's just it's unfortunate that 
all of the meme warfare has to be on battlefields that are controlled by the opposition. I wish it weren't. I wish it weren't. This is so. guerrilla tactics, son. All right. You are the gorilla. You know about gorilla tactics. And listen, I haven't been a gorilla for a while. I've been using like my regular. I like this avatar from Learn, which I like a lot more. Which right, you know, I, mean? I don't know if you ever watch Squid Billies, but like you got to check out the Learn episode where like my man just just like death to America, then blowing like blowing shit up with spaceships. It's amazing. <laughs> Like, um, he hit he hit Early's uh, house, and okay, he's like, I, yo, his I, house came out of nowhere, and it hit me, right? You know what I mean? And then, like, he walked into the store, and, like, he fucking said, death to America, right? And said, do you want to go this way, right? And he went that way, and then, like, he demanded a prorated, like, after he took a sip of his soda, he's like, I want a prorated refund. I am fully hydrated. Like, I fully support Lerm, all right? Lerm for president, you know what I mean? Do you want to go that way? I. Uh, that is that is esoteric AF. I, 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 I didn't understand what you said, but... I bet that's very important for the Squid Billy's lore. I have a couple memes uh, that are lined up. Not that many, a uh, relatively small list of memes, but I think they're, uh, they might not be the worst. Uh, so here's, uh, uh, we have the meme in front of us. There it is. But uh, here's, here's the next meme. Uh, this this would be funny, except there's no punchline. <laughs> there's no, <laughs> it's so literal. Uh, uh, it's so I literal. Okay, I I I on I apologize for this meme. I had to include it. It's it's not it's not. Not going to say it's high caliber. That's like a, that's uh, no no. One. That is a high caliber. That was made in the eighties. Is it? Look did at you, the fucking did attire. You enjoy that one. That's a. Uh, I I think that's a. Uh, it might be far side. Uh, it is. Think, it yeah, is yeah, far yeah, side. Far it's side. like yeah. 11, 12, 1987 Right, legit. Yeah, that's up there with chicken crossing the road. Shut the fuck That's up, squirrel. Oh God, Tear. God, you just uh, such low energy. You're like Jeb. Poor Jeb. We What's have, the next one? Yes, yesterday, a uh, a creep told me he loved my long hair, so today I cut it. But then, <laughs> I love your neck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> one moment. Oh no, Morgan. You can't, you can't Morgan. It. God damn it! I love it so much. <laughs> I love your face. If, I, I love your wrists. <laughs> They're great. If you're, like your, if you're, if you're an attractive woman, there is nothing that you can do to escape uh, the 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 internet, and and you just it's something that you have to live with. You know, it, it that's it's just it's a life reality. Listen, man, you get all the things, all right? You're free to do everything that you want to do and buy all the stuff you want to buy and never get in trouble for anything you do. Just, you know, accept the fact that you're going to get hit on sometimes. Yeah, that's the, uh, man, that's the thing. Like, to start I, looking ugly. I would be fine. I mean, I guess I, I don't know exactly what it's like, but if I... If I got to do all the things that beautiful women could do, and the only drawback is that I get it, I got it on by creepy dudes sometimes, sometimes. I that seems like a pretty swell life. I might make that trade. That seems pretty good. I mean, I mean, I, I, guess, I guess as, as an, attractive an attractive woman, if you want to like marry like a rich dude and like be taken care of, you do have to suck dick. I don't want to suck dick, so like I get that that's a downside, but otherwise <clears throat> it seems pretty chill. I mean, yo, look, I mean, if look, she doesn't look, want any look, attention, she just look, like not okay. wear makeup and not leave the house. Sometimes, sometimes, all right, like as a dude, you're gonna have to like have sex when you don't want. No, all right, listen, some of us have to have sex when we don't want to. Okay, some of us are forced to like even eat vaginas. We don't want to eat from time to time. That's part of life. Okay, like it's it is what it is. It's it's the yo, listen, bro. It is the it's the downside of being attractive, all right. It's just it's just part of life. You have to deal with these things. Just, but the but the great thing is is like you're literally you know you have a better life than everybody else. Like I, I've li I've gotten off with like being attractive is objectively it's it's a better move than being unattractive. Like it's always better. Listen, like yo, I I literally went to court and had a judge say I look cute, and then all the charges got dropped. I think this person might be one of these trans yeah. uglies or something. She her identity is to be ugly, so we should accept her in her transition to try to be more ugly. You know, like she, you're you're devaluing she, her experience. You she, know? she she's attractive, but she she believes that she's ugly. Yeah, that's yeah. The, uh, no, she's she attractive. She, no, listen, ugly. here's here, yo, you know what it's like, bro. Yo, it's like being Beethoven and going like, why don't you respect my cooking? 
Like, yo, because you play the piano really good. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so... <laughs> Alright, uh, next uh, meme we have... Um, uh, Jake Paul challenges Anne Frank to a boxing match. I I don't know. I I saw this on 4chan. I I, I have it here. This is uh, just... This is poll. We do poll review. Here it is. Uh, this is news. Um. Yes. Looks like he's got a jack house of cards in his where his mouth is. I. I'm not saying that this is reliable news, but it is news. So uh, I guess this will. Uh, I would. I would love to see this boxing match. I think it would be amazing. I mean, the real funny thing would be like yo, if you bet on Anne Frank and he took a dive, like yo, that would be amazing. Oh, you know what? <laughs> But wouldn't he kind of have to? Because, like, he couldn't be known as the dude who, like, murdered Anne Frank in the boxing can, ring. Can I, can, I make, can I make a terrible joke? I, okay. Yeah, like, you know, she's a, like, she is a time traveler, so she has special powers. Because her diary was written with a ballpoint pen before it was invented. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> oh, she gets another life. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, how about a uh, how about next meme? Okay. Uh, well, this isn't that much better. Uh, cell phones removed from Auschwitz victims before they were killed. Look at all those cell phones. That is terrible. <laughs> wait a this minute. Is... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're gonna tell me, all right, that they had both? You know, what I mean, like touch screens and fucking Nokia's. I, I I don't believe it, bro. Like legit, this is bullshit. Fucking yo, that shit never happened. Okay. You're right. They had to have one or the other. Yeah, like uh, they didn't. They weren't out at the same time. This is Maybe obvious they, propaganda. They were just hipsters. There's something about this doesn't add up. It's yeah. Listen, it's propaganda, son. All right, and legitimately, like the Germans would have ripped all the batteries out of those phones and been really efficient about it. And it's rather obvious that there was, you know, I mean, like the doors where they were like at weren't locked, so people would have stolen all that shit. Yeah, I something. <laughs> <laughs> Something about this doesn't add up. Uh, we we we're, uh, we here at the Promethean Tides. We're gonna have to look into this. Uh, which which uh, which generation of cell phone did uh, the the victims of the Holocaust have? Uh, my guess is Nokia, but I'm I'm no historian. Uh, next next meme. Uh, reject reject modernity. Embrace tradition. I. Uh, <laughs> Designated shitting streets. Wait, 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 are... oh, wait, wait. That is a new toilet, bro, because it doesn't have a handle. It has like the push button on top, like because you see, there's no handle. You're right. You're right. I mean, maybe the handle's on the right side of it, but it does look like a push button. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, legitimately. Have you? All right. So I have a question. Have you seen the toilets where they have like the one thing for peas and two for poops? I actually have that toilet in my apartment. Yeah, I don't have that because you know I'm not. Yeah, have, you seen those, um, have you seen those Dutch toilets where they'll put the uh, the hole right in the front, and I think they called it a a bag smack or something. A bag smack is basically where your balls touch your your poop because they have to. They, the hole is literally smaller, and they put it in the front, so your poop just sticks in the back. I I have I, no I, idea what. What Twink just I said, just but I, he did not. Yeah, he did not don't. touch my heart. All right, I'll be honest. You yeah, did I, not touch my heart. I, I I didn't vibe with that one, but I do have one that I think that a lot of people can vibe with. Um, Vaginas. every time that I sit down on a toilet, I, I sit down and I'm going to take a shit. My dick touches like the rim of the seat, and I don't. And it it always. I don't know if it's like it's because. I have a big dick, or m maybe this isn't a problem that other dudes have, but every single time my dick touches the rim of the toilet, it's it's disgusting. I feel like I feel like hold my dick away from the rim of the toilet while I take a shit. It's fucking annoying. Yeah, imagine your poop touching your ass. That's basically what it is. Well, your poop always touches your ass when yeah, you Yeah, but it's going back, it basically about, touches man? back into your ass, and it also touches your balls. How the fuck does the poop touch back into your... Why are Dutch you toilets. asking a squirrel a question? And second, general, Dude, you need you need to Dutch move toilets. backwards on toilets. the toilet. I'm you, not. You I'm not being schizo. Move backwards I, on the toilet. 
general. I move all the way back to the point that like my like my butthole is basically touching the back of the seat. My dick still touches the front of of the lid. Your house that are you or something? I I I thought that every man had this issue. Like I genuinely thought this was every man. Listen, no. all right, like there there are there are moments, right? Okay, listen. So if you take a shit while you're hard. Like, that's going to happen, right? Like, your dick is going to motherfucking touch you. Like, it's going to, like, because it's pointing straight out. But if your dick's touching the rim, like, you're you're too wide for the toilet seat front to back. Like, you're too long, whatever it is. Like, your 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 body, your butt, like, should be, like, there's a hole big enough that, like, your, your butt and, like, your balls and your dick should basically dangle down into the toilet. But, dude, okay, there there's basically, I've, okay, basically every toilet that I've ever taken, Taking a shit on, um, if if I don't like like hold my dick, it, it presses against the toilet bowl. If I don't like hold down. it against my body, it's fuck. It's obnox. It's so obnoxious. Like, why do people design toilets this way? They shouldn't design. I feel like toilets are made for women and not for men. They, they are because, like, they are. They are. Yeah, I know. It's it's obnoxious. Like, you, why is it that I have to hold my dick close to my body to shit? Makes no sense. I don't so understand. Like, wait. Okay. So, wait. Is it like pointing outward, or is it like dangling down and touching the like the bowl? No, it's it's like like it's it's like it's like forty. Like my my dick hangs my dick hangs like forty five degrees basically, and then it it just ends up like it like kind of like grazes the the toilet bowl like almost no matter what. Like it's it's the worst thing. I mean, like yo, at, at so like here's my thing. Like when the toilet bowl is too cold. Right, it all like shrivels up, and then like it points forward, and up like peeing on the back of your pants. Like that's it's awful, right? You know what I mean? So like either you have two choices: you pee, right? You hold your dick down and you pee, right? Or you know what I'm saying? Like you, you just take a shit and then you piss afterwards, or you piss beforehand standing up and you shit afterwards. But like yo, with your problem, like I feel like the issue is is that like oh you're too fat for the fucking toilet. You need to get a bigger toilet. Dude, I weigh I weigh 160 pounds. I weigh 160 pounds. Okay, from I'm your not... waist down. No, <laughs> like my whole <laughs> body. <laughs> although, although you, you know what, I I've also this is also an issue that I faced. I'm I sit down, I take a shit. Every time that you take a shit, you piss, obviously. And then, like sometimes, like like my. Like the piss, it goes through. Yeah, that's seat. what I was saying. That's what it I was saying earlier. And yeah, it yeah, yeah. Down the yes. outside of the yes. toilet onto the ground, yes. and I don't, I don't realize it's doing that for like ten seconds, and Until, then there's like, just a pool of piss on the ground. No, I'm yo, like, the problem, oh. the real problem is, is like it gets on your pants, and then you gotta like go back to work, right? Or like, oh, then like you you're with, fucked. You got like you got with, pee on with, your pants with the pee. It's awful. Yeah, pee. It's yeah. awful. Yeah, it's dude. Being a man is brutal. We have it way harder than women, just because of that. I agree. I agree. They should design to have, um, you know, the urinals in every in every household and apartment. I have because I have decided support. that my I household. Support. I have decided that my household is going to be uh, anti fucking toilet paper, right? Because I'm tired of buying fucking sixty five rolls of toilet paper and not using any, and my baby's mom using all of them. Oh those, my like, god. Toilets. Dude, okay, I swear to God, right? I grew up like not not very wealthy, relatively poor, right? Toilet paper had to be conserved, so I learned how to wipe my ass with at, with like as few sheets as possible, right? Like I take like if it if it's double ply, I'll take like like two sheets. If it's if it's like uh, if it's single ply, I'll take three sheets. Like apply it to my asshole, oh. and then do like one after the other until my asshole is clean. Um, like very conservative use of toilet paper. I, I swear to God, I use like half the amount of toilet paper when I shit than when my girlfriend does when she takes a piss. It's insane how much toilet paper my girlfriend well, let me, uses. Let me like, let me just say this, piss. right? She just she just fucking rolls it up like a fuck, like just like ten, just loops around, just roll, roll, roll around her hand, roll, 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 and then just she, just like a massive wad. And then all she did was take a piss. She just applies it, boink, like a little tiny sponge, boink, and then drops it. What the fuck? Yeah, look, let me say this, right? Yeah, I can make a roll of toilet paper last like three months, right? I, if it's just me, 
Because, like, literally, like, you only use it when you take a shit, number one. And then number two, half the time yeah. when you take a shit, it's before you get in the shower. Right? So, like, ain't even no point in fucking wiping. Just, like, you know, wipe your ass in the motherfucking shower. It's not really, like, that big of a fucking deal. Right? I agree. Yeah. And, like, yo, but my baby's mom's, when she's here, I swear to God, we go through, like, a fucking 18-pack of toilet paper in, like, four days. I don't understand. Even my fucking Women. daughters, like, when my daughters were living here, like, literally, like, I had two daughters, both on body trained, both went to the ball fucking bathroom on a regular basis, and, like, literally, still, we did not use this much fucking toilet paper. Dude, uh, women, women use so much toilet paper, and you know what? I think that daughters are probably just more expensive than to have than boys, just because the the toilet paper situation. Like, you're not wrong. So you're not wrong. Like your yeah. daughters as a whole are more expensive than boys, but that's only because like you know, every time you go to the store, you're like, oh my god, that dress is so cute. I'm gonna get it for her, right? Or you look at the bow, right? You know what I mean? Or she'll like cry at the fucking store. She'll be like, "Day, I want this ice cream," and we're like, "All right, I'm gonna get you this whole machine." <laughs> Right, I'm gonna buy you everything in this, and then grab the refrigerator, and we're gonna pay for that, and then we're gonna take it back to the crib. We're gonna have an ice cream refrigerator at the house now, baby, because I love you, and you're my baby, and I want you to know I love you. Right, and I don't want you to be on the pole when you get older. Right, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you got you got to get her that bow, man, or else. Uh, <coughs> all right, next, uh, next, next up, Jake. We have um, haha. Can you guys look away while I potty? So you want some privacy, huh? Yes, please. Actually, kills self like a boss. What a what a great meme. Epstein killed himself, I guess. <laughs> um, I, I feel like that's not how this happened. No, no, no. Look, I I listen to to the deep state. Okay, I because I'm Pinoid. You're a crazy conspiracy conspiracy theorist. I no, listen to the no, deep I, state. I know I, what the truth is. I am nowhere near a conspiracy theorist, bro. Like, no, I, is... I had somebody the other day call me a conspiracy theorist, and I was like, you ain't been around, have you? Like, yo, because, like, I am fucking, if I'm a conspiracy theorist, these motherfuckers around here are crazy. Like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about? The, uh, Pinoid, the official story from the state was that Epstein, was that Epstein killed himself. If you disagree, you must be a, a conspiracy theorist. You, you, come on, you have to agree with that. No. All right, never mind. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay. Next, like, next, me. I know. And, and they're like this. Remember, remember that thing? We had this thing back in the day. Um, you remember when we were kids? They had this thing. Um, it was called uh, the truth, right? Um, it was this crazy I concept. I don't <laughs> All right. All right. Touche, my nigga. Touche. <laughs> Go. Okay. All right. Uh, so here we have a. Uh, just the anatomy of a good boy. You got the uh, the pet zone, the rub zone, the the floofy booty, the Swiffer, the the tippy taps, the toe beans, the huggy sticks, the uh, the lookers, the borker, the sound flaps. I there's a particular label there that obviously I shouldn't say uh, that's near the mouth, and that's a dog. Oh, look how cute that is. Aww. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Nice, nice oh, little dog meme there. Um, that nigger baller. <laughs> I, 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 I was avoiding that. I was, I was avoiding. I'm not avoiding it. I don't care. Bro. Like, stop that. being a bitch. Um, stop being a bitch. No, I was, I was, I was stepping around it like a polite citizen. Stop being polite. Uh, um. Okay. Next. Next thing. Dear Mr. Jones, we thank you for your interest in our work. This is from NASA. Unfortunately, though, we have no interest in your attached sketch entitled A Breakthrough in Awesome Space Rockets. Now give me some money, <laughs> which is just Coke and Mentos. Uh, we've long been aware of the science behind the reaction that occurs between Coke and Mentos, so be believe us when we say that there's no practical, practical use for us in our work. Even if we did use a shitload of coke, as you so eloquently put it, regard regarding your application, if it if it can be called that, to become a space spaceman, we regret to inform you that we're not looking for anyone at this present time. Besides, it takes years of hard training to become an astronaut, and it is not, as you suggest, something so simple a chimp has done it. To learn more, we suggest you read up on your so-called 
idol Buzz Aldrin, who we assume you were referring to when writing Buzz Lightyear. (laughs) (laughs) Due to the security turned by their attachment, we weren't able to return the mitts. You glued to to your original letter. (laughs) Sincerely, NASA. (laughs) Stephen Malkovich. Uh, they really are gatekeeping our finest people, aren't they? I swear. Mm. Yo, this is yeah. why we haven't, you know, this is why we haven't launched any rockets in the past ten years. What the fuck? What the Jesus Christ? Twink, how many? How many fucking? How many? You fucking... get to say dumb shit, and I don't. Uh, you just said we haven't launched any rockets in ten years. How many? How many uh, satellites do you think that we put up in the last ten years? Like like a thousand. What do you mean we haven't launched a rocket? God damn it! Let me know when you find a new planet. It's like it's like every time that you open your mouth, it's just it. (sighs) Twink, I twink, I love you. I swear, I I love you. I love you, but I don't. Hey, well, you know, you have to say I'm right, or you're homophobic. So that's it. (laughs) I'm homophobic. Look, you know they say believe all women. Exactly, it's the same thing. All right, next thing. Uh, here we have millennial couples and then Gen Z couples. I. The eat hot chip. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm going to be honest. I don't understand it. Okay, so Shrek is, is the girl, and then. I don't know. They're not wrong. Game. They're not wrong, right? In the end of the day, they are not wrong. Okay, so I, I, I was looking at this meme, okay, and I was, I was thinking about what this means, and I don't know if I came to. To the best conclusion, but... It's got Blina. Okay, it, with the millennial couples, the boy is a girl, and and the girl is a boy, right? And so, like, at least they're, like, they're, they're binary, but they're trans-binary, but, but they're trans-binary. And then with Gen Z couples, they, they're actually, they're, they're trans-non-binary. So, like, both are trans... But the, but the Gen Z has become non-binary, so none of it even makes any sense. They've completely. No, those are the. Uh, I mean, like the, the way that's, that's not even that's... the way I read it. The way I read it was right. it's like a skinny white dude with a fat, you know, what I mean, like single mom, right? You know, what I mean, and then with the Gen Z couples, it's the fat, you know, what I mean, like like neck beard with, you know, what I mean, like the 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 homosexual motherfucking squid, right? You know, what I mean. That, that's how oh, I read Oh, okay. I, I can see how you read that as well. Yeah, this... It, it's an esoteric meme. I'm not going to actually try to understand it. Yeah, I think it went over your head. Well, I think I, you're, I oh, think okay, you're okay, okay, Twink. Do you I, understand this really well? No. Yeah, of course I do. No, okay, see, explain are... it. Explain it for the group, Twink. Okay, so that's supposed to be the Zoomer perm. It's supposed to be the haircut of every Zoomer, every Zoomer male. And that's the uh, hot chip girl. It's basically the loud eat hot chip, be bisexual, and lie. Link's not wrong. Every- yeah. yeah. But, but what, what, what? See, okay, I understand then- this. I'm a Zoomer. I get it. Okay, I'm, I'm a millennial. Can you explain then the millennial image? The, it's, no. um, well, I'm not a millennial. It's, they're either gay or that's like Goblina, where it's the it's the uh, the, the destroyer, you know, the single mom. Yeah, that's where I was going with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the fat single, 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 the fat with, single um, mom with like the simp white dude yeah, who like really boy. likes nerdy yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. I I I I think I, I'm pretty good at understanding four chan memes, but. I you you might have won this round. Maybe I this one might have gone over my head. I I accept. I See, accept. I was I was way closer than you were, General. You, you, know I mean? you probably you yeah you, you probably yeah, were. You were yeah. I think actually to be honest, uh, Twink uh, as degenerate as they are might have been the closest. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah, did, did, see, no see, look here. We just don't we don't really know Zoomers all like that. You know what I mean? Like fucking, we don't really pay attention to their culture because okay. So general, mine and your culture when like we were coming up was on the radio and TV. So like you know, our culture was like, you know, well established. Like we knew what it was. With them, you literally have to be one of them to know what the fuck they're doing. Because like it's all just 
it's it's all like zoomer tiktok shit like for instance when's the last time like you watched like a zoomer creator right and like stayed up on their trends uh, I think never because they're not entertaining. Neither. Neither. Like, for, uh, how about this one? Here's yeah. one. Here's one. Today I was watching a video and like somebody was um, they were talking about everybody knows this fucking Drake song and they or, or Jay Cole song and they put it on and I had no idea what the song was. I I was lost. I had no clue. Yeah, I don't listen to Drake. So, so I think that what we're what we're the point that we're getting to is that. We have to, in order to stay more up to date on the bullshit culture, we all have to get TikTok. And I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no, that. I don't. What if we? What if no. we have to? We don't. No, have I'm to. just your. Un, I'm just your undercover TikToker. I'm okay, your, like yo. For instance, general, right? So, Zoomer. okay. Here's the thing, general. Our culture, right, is li like our social shit, like the things that we know are closer to baby boomer shit and even the silent generation than zoomers. So I give you I'll give you a good for instance, all right? Okay. I will I will list you like fucking four bands, right? Leonard Skinner, yep. Alabama, Bob Seeger, nope. Bob Seeger, George Thorogood. You know I all of these, right? I bet you Twink could name off four artists that are Zoomers, that are like Zoomer artists, and we would have absolutely no fucking idea who they are. I think, I think that, at least for like this show, I think that it means a Zoomer correspondent to translate the memes. I think that that's what, like, at least my show... Uh, uh, means and you know what Pinoid honestly your show might mean that too you need a, a zoomer correspondent no 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 Bro, like yo, okay like listen I'm already translating all right like I'm translating millennial shit right to like boomer and like gen x audiences it's why mm -hmm. I it's why I do kind of well right compared to like a lot of other people you know what I mean like there's a lot of guys who started when I did they got like 500 subs right now I got like you know I'm like fucking three or four thousand, right? So like I'm already doing what I do, right? I do like my shit, and like I can translate from one to the next. <sighs> I'm not fucking translating for Zoomers. Zoomers can catch the fuck up or get fucking lost. They're literally an entire like they're a they their their culture is so far away from theirs. It might as well be like fucking like goddamn uh like New Zealand like Boranese or like New Zealander fucking. Molly's and shit. They, they're completely, they are fully different people than us. I get it. I totally get it, man. But you know what? If translation is the game, then we need to have a Zoomer correspondent. That's the move. Uh, okay, but uh, next, next meme. When is your birthday? March 1st. <laughs> When when is your birthday? <laughs> 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 this is literally what, what men do. They forget things the minute you tell them. No, no, this is a dad joke. This is like a high tier dad joke. <laughs> if I let me let, uh, let me give you an example. Um, <clears throat> uh, Twink, uh, can I be straight with you? Oh, okay. I like tits. <laughs> Just fuck off. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, I get it. It's great. It's great. This is, this is the ultimate. Like, I wish I was dating a chick whose birthday was March 1st. I would do this every single year. Oh, oh now I get it. I, I, would. Would. <laughs> I would. I would march around the room once a year going, your birthday is March 1st. <laughs> <laughs> I get right, it now. Uh, next, <laughs> next thing. Uh, from George Lincoln Rockwell, it is not the evil itself which is horrifying about our times. It is the way we are not. It is the way we not only tolerate evil, but have made a cult of positively worshiping weakness, depravity, rottenness, and evil itself 
well, that has nothing to do with our times, right? Like that, that's, that doesn't seem similar at all. I mean, like, yo, look, man. All right. Um, in, in what they say, oh, uh, fucking like, yo, Jesus was a con. They say Jesus was a con man. You know what I mean? So like, you know, if you're in a world full of goddamn marauders, you might as well be a bandit, son. There's no point in trying. You know what I mean? At this point, like, it's been on a downward slide. Like, yo, I was on, oh, I went to a MGTOW video today, right? One of the, I, the black, uh, the black manosphere, right? And, you know, because, like, they welcome me over there because I'm not quite white. And, and you kind of sound black. Yeah, not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, <laughs> so, so, like, I went over there and I said, we need to return to the land, right? And, like, there's just a giant argument in the comments underneath of my shit. Like, and guys are going like, you're not wrong about what you're saying, right? Legitimately, like, we need, like, we need to return to the land. Like, if you want to have, like, a, a functioning society, you have to have, a, like, uh, like, like, like societal things that function, right? You have to have a reason for it. It's that evolution thing, right? Where, like, you will only have the evolution of things that you need. And right now, what do you need a family and a wife and, like, solid relationships for? Like, what is the purpose of it? It makes no fucking sense when, you know what I mean? Like, the best thing you can be is an atomized band bandit. I mean, that is... I mean, there, there, there is some truth to that, yeah. I, yeah. Well, I, my, I, wish, I wish that there was enough space to actually behave more like a good guy it, it seems as though you're, you're kind of forced due to modernity you're kind of forced into being a good a bad guy just in order to survive it, it's kind of brutal i i kind of hate it yeah listen bro like this is we worship money what do you want right the the, you know, the greatest trait and like i talk to guys who are good men right it's great men they're fucking awesome people you know what i mean like guys who you, you would probably trust your kids with you know what i'm saying like good guys and they still stand here and go well like you know if people can't survive in capitalism maybe they shouldn't survive this is me when i look at um look shut at up fans shut up and i think wow right here i am being a cashier again you know i mean like if you can't survive in this capitalist system then like you don't deserve to survive instead yet, of thinking like you know, like what, what about you being a human being and, and, and yeah, and and yet man man did not evolve to survive in a capitalist structure. Man actually evolved to survive in a more hunter gather structure with a with a very small tribe. We we, yes. we didn't evolve for this shit. Yeah, we have to live in it. Yes, I mean that's the point. Do you think people like human beings evolved to live in cubicles and basically prisons in a city full of rats and all that if garbage? You give us if you give us 30,000 years, we will evolve to, to live in cubicles, but we haven't had enough time. Like, it's this, uh, like, this is poison to us, I think. You know what? That could be a theory, but that, you know, politicians will leave that as a threat. They'll be like, D don't, don't think we won't make you do that. We will. They already have. Yeah, they already have, dude. True. Like, yo, you have to pay taxes. You want to survive, like even even if you want to like rent a place, like you can't own land without paying taxes. You can't live without paying taxes. It's impossible. Like, even if you're renting, you're still paying taxes. And how that are you going to rent? You have to earn money, dude. That is that is actually like one of the most absurd things to me. Like, okay, let's say that you do acquire land and you're totally self sufficient. You have chickens, cows. You have a vegetable farm entirely self-sufficient you're not trying to deal with anyone you're just you're just trying to make enough food to provide for yourself somehow you must sell enough of your goods to someone else to gain enough dollars to give to the government that's yes. how the system works you are not allowed to be self-sufficient you're not, not a, no 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 here's like you're not allowed to check out of the system you yeah you can't you're not allowed or else or else, the government. Yes. Damn, I thought mortgages were a bitch. Yeah, mortgages. No, it's a, mortgages, like literally, like here's the thing. Everybody think the bank's the bad guy. The bank's not the bad guy. It's not. Right. It's literally the government that's the bad guy. It's always been the government that's the bad guy. 
Like that's why, like they, like America? the government, like the government literally teaches you that religion's bad. Like religion started all these wars, and I'm like, you sure about that? Because I'm 99 percent sure that it was the government that like conducted all this fucking warfare. Because they're in a church on the planet that makes swords. The uh, well, you know, um, what happens in a power vacuum? A a ward sets up a gang. What happens when? A warlord sets up a gang for enough time. He becomes the go government. Yeah. The government is just gang with the biggest warlord. That's all a government is. Yes. Uh, but that, I'm sorry, I apologize, YouTube. That's extremely naughty talk. Uh, we'll move on. <coughs> uh, when 9-11 when gets a day of mourning while gays get a whole month because homosexuality is a bigger tragedy. Based? <laughs> <laughs> really is. <laughs> Uh, uh, the poor, the poor rainbow Americans. Imagine crying if you ate pussy. Jesus Christ. Oof. Like not like the way where like girls cry, but like oh my god, it was so good. And, like and where like I want to kill myself. Imagine, if, uh, yeah. Yeah. Listen, so, there's a reason why they call it lesbian bed death. All right. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> no, I mean actually, you know the um. There used to be a time where we, uh, America, we oppressed gays, and we didn't allow them to marry. You said this before. It was, it was really horrible when we were oppressing the gays and we weren't allowing them to marry. Instead, we were forcing them to reproduce and make copies of themselves. I'm so thankful that we've entered yo. a new a new stage of society. Yo. Yo, listen, bro. I don't to, like. Yo, I'm let me twink, shut, shut up. Shut up, twink. Right here's here's the real bitch. Okay, nobody said that you couldn't be gay. Right? They just said you couldn't get married. And let's be honest here. Okay, marriage is the worst fucking goddamn institution in the history of fucking mankind. Oh, that's. I don't agree with that. So then, why do it? No one should get married then. At that point, yo, marriage is like the dumbest. Like what? Okay. If okay, how about this general, right? If marriage didn't exist, would you create it? Yes. Right. Like, would you would you look at your girl and go, baby, what we got? It's so hot. We need to get the government and paperwork involved in this shit. Not not marriage, but monogamy. Like I think monogamy is a good thing. Well, works. Well, I mean, because gays can be monogamous all you want to. That's a contract between you and that person, or you and God and that person. Right, but like marriage is a contract between you, the government, and that person. Well, I mean, ideally, actually, marriage is monogamy plus church, and it has nothing to do with the government. It has and literally, like, the again, marriage, the only reason why gays wanted to get married was for the legal rights. Well, okay, so so this is my position. Actually, I I oppose government marriage, period. I, I don't support gay marriage. I don't support straight marriage under the government. I think that all of that should be civil unions. I think that marriage should be religious. And I think that monogamy is just the natural state of man, regardless of churches or, I mean, or governments. I think, I think polygamy is the natural state of man, right? As a whole, like, fucking, you know, like, you can, like, you okay, should, man, like, or... as a dude, like, uh, your natural tendency is to, like, fuck as many idiot. girls as possible. Right? No, no, you're... You're right. I, I think that uh, polygamy is the natural state of man in a in an anarchy. I think that monogamy is the natural state of man when you have like a complex civilization. Like, I'll say that. I mean, like we've had complex civilizations that had polygamy, right? Like again, like literally, like yo, every dude events like so. Listen, you know how you like have hoarders yeah. who like hoard dogs. You're not like, going to you know, tell me that the fucking Muslim nations actually have complex civilization. I'm gonna leave I mean, it at that. We're we moving on to the next meeting. From Muslim civilizations. See, I don't know. I wouldn't really feel comfortable just seeing someone and then just praying that they don't leave me. So it's like, have, um, they could just leave me at here any we point. Have, uh, never trust anyone. Turn the picture upside down. You do that. I don't have my screen. But also I'm on my keyboard. But also, never trust anyone. So there you have it. There's that. Yeah. Uh, this guy's full of shit. I don't fucking trust him. Turn it upside I'm, down. 
I'm that, trying to turn yeah, it upside down. That's a psyop. I'm, I'm not doing that. But also, what is never it? trust anyone. What is it? Just never trust anyone, but also turn the picture upside down. That's yeah. all. That's okay. That's the whole meme. All right. Next meme. Uh, I want to name my puppy insane. So when people ask, "Are you fucking insane?" I can say, "No, I'm fucking my my sister." <laughs> this this stupid, stupid, it's stupid. so it's dumb. dumb. It's so stupid. It's so I, dumb. It's, not, it's like I I I to the audience. I uh, I I I had to I had to acquire uh, some of these memes on on the on short term notice. And I'm a, not all of them are the best quality, but I hope some of them are humorous. Uh, it's not as good as the punchline, honestly. That was top the, tier. The, the punchline. That was that, the this will never meet. Yeah. This will need, never meet expectation. This will not <laughs> last the test of time. And we'll not be talking about this in 2050. You know. No, we we probably. You're right. We, this is not not a meme that's going to survive for the next uh, 30 years, probably. Uh, all right, next uh, 30 got, years. It doesn't have the patent. It doesn't have the general patent approved. We got. We got. We have two more memes. I. I forget what the next two memes are, so I hope I hope they're decent. I if if you were to accurately <laughs> draw this football player, you would be sent to prison in the UK. You're I'm not wrong. Really <laughs> Yo, he looks like a Tom and Jerry character. Who makes these people? God. I. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. God. God. God makes people. What God, dude? But no. Your God. Your God. Like, yo, look, uh, listen, like, he's playing soccer, so he's one of yours, Twink. Can, can I ask for a refund? No. <sighs> you get no can refund. I have a word with God? I, I think that this is kind of like, um, it's like a Muhammad, but for the West. You, you dare not draw him. It really is. Well, uh, proof the, of evo I'm just saying that's proof of evolution that right there, bro. It's proof of evolution. I. <laughs> We've been looking for I, the missing link. He's been playing soccer the whole time. That, that is, is uh, uh, highly I, offensive, and I denounce that. And we are on to our final uh, meme of the evening. Uh, the life of Stephen Hawking. Available on Netflix. <laughs> Coming soon. I be I be fixing to understand that space and time shit y'all be watching. I I, I cannot no. watch. I, I I not wait to watch the uh, the Netflix uh, adaptation of, of Stephen Hawking. Yo movie. man, really listen. Good. So yeah. like I but like yo, do you watch any of that those like movie reviews, general or like the the, the like um. The critical drinker or like Mauler or any of that shit, General? I I watch a uh, Ryan George. He he does some of the uh the I like Ryan reviews. George. I like Ryan George. You should watch a critical drinker. Um I'll be honest with you, like for like the past like that, um... shut up, Twink, I'm talking. Right. So like for like the past month, he's been talking about um Indiana Jones and like the whatever the fuck it is now i have no idea what the what the new one's called the legend i think of, it's like, the, uh, the 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 kingdom of the crystal bong i think is the next one no no it's like like Indiana jones and the legend of zelda or some shit right okay yeah. but um yeah so like they've been talking about that here recently and so like you know you should you should watch some of the things that's going on um apparently in a new indiana jones movie um, like they added in, um, you know, I mean, a strong female lead to like, you know, I mean, be the next Indiana Jones, right? Uh, a strong female person oh, of oh, color. Good, good. Yeah, we should, we, we should hand it to like no one wanted a male Indiana Jones. We all well, want. A they single handedly may yo. Jones. They single handedly may have bankrupted Lucasfilms with this movie, right? <laughs> I swear to God, check this out. They spent not fucking around four hundred million dollars to make this movie, right? Opening weekend at the box office, forty million. 
Oh no, that's not very good. <laughs> yo, literally, like yo, they went full Ghostbusters 2016, right? Where literally, like oh, Indiana no. Jones, <laughs> that's yo, pretty bad. <laughs> yo, Indiana Jones, right, is now a feeble, angry, bitter old man, right? You know what I mean? So they they copied Star Wars with with uh, Luke Skywalker, right? And then like they have this strong female lead. Right, who uh, fucking is over here just oogling like men, right? And I mean, she's like watching going by, like, mm hmm, I'd fuck that, uh huh, right? And then, like, you know, what I mean, like, they have to fight these people and they all go and die, right? And like, it's just, yo, know, it, it's, it, and then, oh, they added in time travel, right? So, like, they, they're going back in time to kill Hitler, and it turns out it just goes back to the time of like Archimedes or some shit. So this is like Back to the Future, I guess. It's yes, result. it's it's back to the Legend of Zelda or whatever, right? Well, I mean, look, we we have um, I uh, I mean, at, at, at this point, we should take all of a, uh, all of the beloved characters. We should just make them black. Um, we did uh, we did Ariel, um, from My Little Mermaid, made her black. Um, Cleopatra from Netflix, who is ostensibly a a Greek, Greek chick. Uh, I, Wait, I don't think that the Greeks are that black, but uh, uh, Cleopatra is now black. It's yeah. very important to know. Yeah. Um. I uh, just we we need we need to make everyone black. If we can just make everyone black, then certainly we can make money somehow. No. Surely, surely no. we. It's not. It's not go go, go broke. Certainly not. Yo, listen. All right. Like, yo, I'll be real. This may bank. This might bankrupt Lucas Films, right? Because, like, in order to make back the money that they put into this movie, like, with just the the the, the motherfucking the um the production and advertising, right? Because they spent like three hundred and fifty mil on like making the movie, and then like another hundred and twenty five mil for like the advertising, right? And I'm just waiting. They're not going to make this. Right, they're not going to make this back. It may end up bankrupting Lucasfilm because they they destroyed Star Wars. Right, they've destroyed motherfucking Indiana Jones. They really don't have any other real properties that like they own that are worth the shit. I think there was one other one, and they murdered that a while ago. Right, so like they they like they don't know what they're doing. They're they're lost and they're retarded. And I mean, this is this is fucking great. And I mean, it's the most oh, amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, no, I mean, I mean, uh, hold on, hold on, there, Pinoid, because what? I mean, um, what? like obviously these are these are uh, these are uh, institutions. You know, you're talking about Lucas Arts. You have Star Wars and Indiana Jones tied uh, tied up in that. I mean, surely uh, a a massive uh, corporation that's run by a, a just a board. I'm I'm sure that they wouldn't drive that into the ground due to a complete lack of creativity because they wanted to uh, just support a, a DIE numbers, right? I'm sure that would never happen. Like, that's not possible, right? It would be absurd. That's I mean, crazy. like, it would, be, it would be absurd, but, like, it's happening, right? So, uh, like, I don't know exactly, you know, like, what they're attempting to do, right? Like, what they said was is that basically, like this movie was made just for Kathleen Kennedy. Like by it's made for white bitches who like pit bulls. <laughs> and I don't know if you know this, that's a very niche market. You know, what I mean, like it's a, and these broads are not going to go watch this movie. Well, look, I mean, uh, at, uh, look, uh, the opinion of the Promethean Tides is that. Um, you don't actually need to have creativity. Creativity is for um, stupid people. You don't need to have creativity. Look, just take uh, take a bullshit idea. Have a very diverse cast of characters: uh, Indian, Black, Chinese, whatever have you. Um, have a couple gays and lesbians in there. Maybe someone who's disabled. And you're going to have a solid film. You don't need to have plot. You don't need to have good characters. You don't need to have any of that. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's diverse and it will sell. Um, so saith the corporate board and the DIE. Here's, yo, here's the real bitch, right? Here's here's the real bitch. Okay, like, yo, look. 
there's plenty of really good like movies with people who are like you know what you would call divers right like have you ever seen life of pi that was uh an okay i loved it i fucking love that movie and like I the visuals the, the visuals on the movie were amazing like they were like the the fucking artwork was just uh, i'm like i was just stuck at the screen just lost like bro like that is the craziest shit i've ever seen in my life right it was amazing the visuals were spectacular right um uh fucking harold and kumar go to white castle right you know what i mean like yo asian i'm all fucking indian you know what i mean great goddamn movie and shit uh fucking slumdog millionaire great fucking movie and shit um like all the blade movies were amazing and shit right like there are tons of these movies out here that are fucking great right but the problem is is that like they don't want to have you know what i mean like proper decent good actors like making like decent fucking movies and shit what they want to do is they want to have you know what i mean like strong female role models like angry at the at like the entire world the system and their dad like fucking you know what i mean like be the front and center role models of the next generation like for instance they want a whole bunch of twinks right who don't like being you know i mean like what they were born as to be the leads in the movies coming up no the, you, you, this this is what i don't understand right it's like um you can have like if if you if you create an original character you can you can create like an original black dude character like uh 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 uh, what was that? Uh, uh, he uh, he fought vampires with uh, Ridley uh, Blade. Blade, Blade. That's a great character. Fucking love that character. Yes. Um, you can you you can have so many good characters if you just create a new character. Just cr create a new character, make <laughs> them their own thing, and that that's great. I I just I wish mm. they didn't take old characters and update them into oh. new characters that are now uh, uh, black chicks. See, like, could we, could we stop doing that? See, is that is that possible at all? To interrupt you for a little bit, I just had to say no. that's very racist of you. It's you can't just right. expect writers to actually do what they're supposed to, which is writing new characters no, or we plots. Can't. You're right. We cannot expect writers to make new things. They have to just copy old things and just uh, ruin them. Just, just, just sure. race that's like expecting that's like expecting a cashier to scan your food while you're at the till like that's very reactionary of you you should really check your privilege way okay? too much to ask you're completely right you want yeah, your waiter yeah, totally right. to serve you the one and you don't want to actually go up there yeah like, twink have you ever is, wow. have you ever twink have you ever considered um like there's a uh, this uh thing right um, it's called a toaster, right? And if you plug it into the wall, oh boy, okay. And so, you take um, and you I take a like bath, to, uh, right? I would and I make would like yo, to, the uh, best toast to is made end. right um, in the bathroom. I think that that will be the end of uh, this episode of the uh, the Promethean <laughs> Times. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for uh, for for listening in. Uh, hey, if you like what we're doing, uh, remember to leave a like and a, and a subscribe. If you're uh, if you happen to somehow be listening to this on on Tom Pinoid's show. Hey, look up uh, the Promethean Tides. It will be linked in the goddamn description. You know what I'm saying? I always, I always link your shit. We do some you. things. We, we, we do things sometimes. Uh, try to subscribe to us. We do and things. If you're, if you're, do things. If you're, listen, yo, if look, you're look, here's what I'm to, saying. Uh, listen, to me, all right, like, and, there's a cure. And you like Tom, subscribe to Tom. His link will be in this description listen, as well. Listen, if you think everybody's racist, the cure is. You know, I mean, toaster uh, or bath toast. All right. I just want to say that is bath, the cure for that. Toast. All right. Is bath toast. Like you have to make toast it, in it, the bath. It's very toast. delicious, I hear. It's the best. There's it's, nothing it's, better. It's, 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 if, if you don't want your toast, if you don't want your toast to be dry, if you like a moister toast, then uh, perhaps like, consider listen, that. Bro, like you oh, want boy. your toast to like be, you know what I mean, more bubbly. All right. Just like real shit. Bubbly, moist. Bubbly, yeah. moist, yeah. moist toast. No, it gives a good, like, salty, like, brine to it and shit. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> All right, uh, with that, uh, everyone, uh, peace out. Yeah, I'm going to hit stop.